Olympic National Park's Ho Rainforest is accessible via Upper Ho Road where the Roosevelt Elk Roam off U.S. Highway 101 about 13 miles south of Forks. At the end of the road you'll find friendly, knowledgeable John Preston. I'm a park ranger in the Ho Rainforest area of Olympic National Park. It's the best job in the world. Behind me what you see are these giant big leaf maples covered in moss. It's one of the trademarks of an area that gets over 130 inches of rain a year. In the winter time, pretty much every day we get some kind of measurable precipitation. But there are breaks in between that that provide those folks that don't like the rain an opportunity to come into this place where it's silent and quiet. For those that like the more sunny weather, you can come here in the summer. And generally, June, July, August, and September are pretty dry months. However, that doesn't describe the entire place. It's a season of changes. In December, we get 3,000 coho salmon that come up Taft Creek. And you can watch the otters all day long. It's a remarkable time. In the first weeks of May, the spring bud, these deciduous plants, these, these broad leaves that you see in color right now, put out brand new leaves and the entire area is tinted in this surreal green. Scientifically, the Ho Rainforest is very significant because there's not another forest type like this on Earth. It's a temperate rainforest, and temperate means we don't get real hard freezes here, and it's very cool in the summer. Our average summer temperature is high, is in the 70s, and our lows are down in the 60s, upper 50s. The area is constantly damp, and that allows an explosion of life. There's no forest more productive. It's so productive, in, in fact, that uh, some of our trees, our signature tree, in fact, the Sitka spruce, achieves growth rates that make it one of the fastest growing terrestrial plants on the planet. Giant trees, lots of moss, plants crowded together like it was Shanghai. It's, it's a unique place, well worth visiting. Before heading into the Ho Rainforest, be sure to check out the Information Packed Visitor Center. And don't forget to wave goodbye to the Roosevelt Elk on your way out of the park.